Hello there guys, this is Solid Shepherd bringing you another video. And this is just a really quick video because obviously the news came out about the Xbox or Microsoft Bethesda merger becoming official today. So I want to do a quick little video before I start working on tomorrow's video. Because, you know, this, wa this wasn't going to be able to wait until tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to have to be something else. Let's get into it. Xbox and Bethesda will talk this week about what the acquisition means. This comes in from GamesBeat. As always, um, my sources are article when we're going over articles will be in the description below. Regulators in the United States and Europe approve Microsoft's acquisition of ZeniMax Media, and that means Bethesda is now an Xbox studio. But what does that mean for the companies involved and for fans of games like Fallout and The Elder Scrolls? Well, Microsoft is going to start answering those questions with a video presentation on Thursday, March 11th, according to sources familiar with the plans. Microsoft is unlikely to get into the specifics about Bethesda's upcoming projects. Details about the previously announced sci-fi role-playing adventure Starfield will likely come this summer, so Xbox and Bethesda won't talk about that now. Instead, they will explain what the deal means for Xbox Game Pass subscribers. In particular, a number of Bethesda games should make the leap to Game Pass soon. Microsoft will also use this time to reiterate that any future and contractually eligible game from under the ZeniMax umbrella will hit Game Pass at launch. Okay, so it sounds like they're pretty much... An event is coming, but they're pretty much going to focus on Game Pass. Xbox and Bethesda are also not planning to mash together their summer showcases. Both companies are preparing announcements for around E3, so even though they're under the same umbrella now, they're still planning on, Bethesda's still planning on doing their own show, basically, for E3. Uh, but they will hold them separately. Microsoft, however, may try to present them back-to-back -back as part of a one-two punch from Xbox. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Finally, it's still unclear whether Microsoft and Bethesda will address the question of platform exclusivity. You would, you would hope they're going to answer this. PlayStation fans want to know if Bethesda releases like Starfield, Indiana Jones, or The Elder Scrolls VI will also launch on PS5. The Thursday presentation may provide a uh, black and white answer. Hopefully. Hopefully we get this answer. Or it might keep things gray, especially if its plans are more nuanced and conditional from game to game. Microsoft will likely confirm the event in the, day, in the next day or two. So, it basically sounds like we're probably not going to get any information on any new games, um, but it looks like we may get, there is a possible we could get some confirmation on exclusivity, whether uh, PlayStation basically is going to be able to get these games or not. I still think that PlayStation probably will, at least for the established titles, and the whole point of this mainly Especially because it sounds like this, they're basically going to focus on this event coming up. This rumored for Thursday will be around Game Pass. I really think Microsoft's more focused on Game Pass. So it'll just be like, if you're on Xbox, you get to play them for free. Uh, but if you're on PlayStation, we'll still sell it to you on PlayStation. And since it's under Microsoft, that means Microsoft gets that money from the sales. So PlayStation has to give Microsoft money to play the game still anyways. I could be wrong. It could not go that way. That's just the way I see it happening. That's just my opinion. Nothing more. Nothing less. Just like all this. Just like everything. Huge grain of salt. But it looks like the main point of the event will probably be just around Game Pass and maybe the answer for exclusivity. It doesn't look like we'll be hearing anything about Starfield or the next Elder Scrolls game. And yeah, that's about all I have on that. You know, we can go with Twitter real quick just to see what people are saying about this real quick. We'll look at three tweets. Uh, yes, but is another... It, uh, okay, that's not really anything worth. Just fanboys. If it was up to me, Bethesda games would be exclusive to PC and Xbox and xCloud, but it's not up to me. Microsoft spent $7.5 billion. You know... <laughs> Oh, wow, Microsoft bought Bethesda. We kind of already knew this. It's just it's finally official. Yeah, that was uh, 
That was a mistake. That was a mistake to go look at this, because of course it's just a bunch of fanboys fanboying. Uh, doesn't really tell us anything. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. We can have a real discussion. Um, if you're liking my content, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really helps out. Um, and go check my other video that I uploaded earlier. It's about Final Fantasy VII. Four hints possibly in the trailer uh, for uh, Intergrade that might have to do, might give us hints of what's coming in Part 2. Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2. Until next time, guys, this has been Solid Shepard, and I should go.